Come on, Ash, hurry! I want to get to the contest early so I have plenty of time to get my Pokémon ready. Sorry, May. I'm just looking at the directions the contest director sent. I wish Max was here with the Pokénap to help us. They're kind of confusing. What do you mean? Let me look. Good luck. Here we go. We just need to continue up Main Street. That's where we are now. Then turn left at the building with the trapezoid-shaped windows. Okay, sure. And then we should find a building with a rectangle-shaped flag. And they're right there. And keep going until we get to the store with the rhombus-shaped sign. Uh-huh. What's a trap of whatever? Or a rhombus? Do they mean a bus stop? I don't think so. Okay, we know what a rectangle is. That's a type of shape, right? So these others must be shapes, too. I bet Ada can help us out. I'll call her. Hola, what's up? Ada, we need your help. We're trying to find our way to a contest, and the directions make us look for things like a trapezoid window and a rhombus sign. But the problem is, what's a rhombus? And all those other shapes. Don't worry, we'll get you there. Let's break it down. See those squares on the sidewalk next to Pikachu? Pikachu! Pikachu! Sure. Look at one of the squares. The square is flat, right? Another way of saying a figure is flat is that it is two-dimensional. Do you know what a line segment is? It's a line with two endpoints. Right. The square is made up of four line segments. The point where line segments meet is called a vertex. It has four vertices. That's the plural of vertex. So the line segments and vertices form the sides of the square, right? Right. And the square is a closed figure. That means that all the line segments join together. There isn't an open side. My friends, that square is an example of a polygon. A polygon is a two-dimensional figure made up of three or more line segments that are joined together to form a closed figure. But if you were to erase one of the lines of the square, Pikachu. now that figure is open. It's not a polygon. Okay, so I guess all squares are polygons. Right. They're regular polygons. Regular means that all their sides are the same length and their angles all have the same measurement. Like this equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangles have three sides of equal length and three angles of equal measurement. How about this regular polygon? How many sides does this have? Let me see. Five. That's right. A five-sided regular polygon is called a pentagon. Look at this one. That has six sides. Uh-huh. It's called a hexagon. Check out these two. Seven sides and eight sides. The seven-sided one is called a heptagon. The eight-sided one is called an octagon. All of these regular polygons have sides that are the same length. All of their angles are also the same measurement. Now, remember your rhombus-shaped sign? Absolutely. That's a polygon, too. Take a look. How many sides does it have? Four, just like a square. A rhombus is a four-sided polygon with all four sides of equal length. A square also has four sides of equal length, but squares are made up of all right angles. The opposite angles of a rhombus are equal, but a rhombus does not have to have four right angles. So, a rhombus doesn't have to be a square, but a square is always a rhombus? You've got it! Now look at these two polygons. I know that first one is a rectangle. That's right. See how its sides are different lengths? That makes the rectangle an irregular polygon. The same with the other figure. But check this out. These polygons have something else in common, too. Both have four sides. The sides are line segments. Now imagine that these line segments actually didn't stop at their vertices. They keep running forever. Would they ever intersect? No, they're parallel lines, right? Right. Those are lines that run forever and never intersect. The rectangle has two pairs of parallel lines. Any polygon that has two pairs of parallel lines is a parallelogram. A rectangle is a parallelogram that has all right angles. We have to find a trapezoid, though. Is that a parallelogram? Nope. 
Here's your trapezoid. Look at the pairs of sides. Only one pair is parallel. Right. A trapezoid is a four-sided polygon with only one pair of parallel sides. Awesome. Now we'll be able to find our trapezoid-shaped windows. You sure will. Now don't forget, these are just the names of some specific types of polygons. Remember, a polygon is really just any two-dimensional closed figure with more than three line segments. So this, 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 and this are all polygons too. Wow, there must be an awful lot of polygons everywhere. That's right. Let's see if we can sort out some of the shapes around here. Click and drag the regular polygons into the regular polygon box, the irregular polygons into the irregular polygon box, and any shape that's not a polygon into the non-polygon box. Exactly. You got it. You got it. Exactly. Great work. Exactly. You got it. Great work. Exactly. Great job! Regular polygons are polygons where all sides are the same length and the angles have the same measurement. With irregular polygons, the sides and angles aren't all equal. The non-polygons aren't polygons because polygons need to be closed and be made only out of line segments, not curves. Look at the regular polygon box. Click on the octagon. Great job! An octagon is an eight-sided regular polygon. Click on the rhombus in the polygon box. That's right! A rhombus is a polygon with four sides of equal length. Click on the parallelogram that has no right angles. Excellent! Any polygon with two pairs of parallel sides is a parallelogram. A parallelogram that has four right angles is called a rectangle. Click on the trapezoid in the irregular polygon box. You've got it! A trapezoid is an irregular polygon with only one pair of parallel sides. That was super work! We need to get to the contest, though. It's time to get going and put all this polygon information to work. Come on! First, we need to find a building with trapezoid-shaped windows. Click on the correct building. Awesome! Now we need to find a building with a rectangle-shaped flag. Click on the correct flag. Job. Which store has the rhombus-shaped sign? Click on the rhombus-shaped sign. <laughs> now we're supposed to follow the path with the hexagon-shaped stones. Click on the path with the hexagon-shaped stones. <laughs> Good 
We need to walk to the left of the parallelogram-shaped sculpture. Awesome! Choose the door with a window that is not a polygon. Awesome! Here we go. Hooray! Okay. We made it! We made it! Big, big whale plane! See? Those polygon directions weren't so hard now that you know so much about polygons. It was pretty easy. Thanks, Ada. Right. Thanks, Ada. You're welcome. Good luck in the contest, May. We'll need it. The competition looks tough today. Come on, Skitty and Squirtle. Let's get you all ready. Squirtle, Squirtle. Remember, polygons need to be closed figures. They are made up of line segments, not curves. Remember, polygons need to be closed figures. They are made up of line segments, not curves. Remember, polygons where the sides are the same length and angles are the same measurement are called regular polygons. Try again. Remember, polygons where the sides and angles aren't all the same length are irregular polygons. Try again. Remember, an octagon has eight sides. Try again. Remember, a rhombus has four sides of equal length, but its angles don't have to be right angles. Try again. Remember, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. You're looking for a parallelogram without right angles. Try again. Remember, a trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides. Try again. Try again. Try again. Now we need to find a building with a rectangle-shaped flag. Click on the correct flag. <laughs> 